I'm gonna show you how to install this awesome little LED strip in your Nissan GTR headlights or your customer's GTR headlights. That's even better. Yo, I'm Chris and you're at Flyride where I build custom lights. I show you what parts I use how I install them, and why I chose those parts to begin with. And the parts I'm talking about today are very simple because, I mean, they're my parts. I've done multiple videos on these GTR headlights, and I've explained a lot of times that underneath that cool little lightning bolt, you've just got these weird little acrylic tubes and a couple of LEDs on the back side, if you can see that there, that push all the light down through it. Now, I took some measurements and I wanna show them to you before I say anything else. One of the most popular questions I get asked for the GTR headlights is, are the OEMs brighter than the aftermarket depot headlights? And now there's actually other headlights that are available as well. I haven't tested any of those from Spider. I would love to test those. Right now, I actually wanna show you a new tool I bought. So this little guy is a light meter and there are a few different types of them available. It's taking a reading through that little white spot on there. The reading with it set to foot candles, that little FC in the corner, is reading 6.8. So let's see what happens when I turn off the lights in here. All right, so now we're just looking at the output from these depot lights. And everybody has asked if those are as bright as the factory ones. So let's take an actual reading and it says 1.8 foot candles. All right, I'm going to make some changes really quick. Swap that out with the OEM. I've got a 2015 and a 2017 OEM light. So let's see how those stack up against that. And then we'll try the fly ride headlights. This is the OEM 2015 headlight. Let's see the reading. It says 4.9 foot candles. So we went from 1.8 to 4.9. Now let's try the 2017 light and see if that's any different if they made those brighter than the 2015. All right, there's the 2017 light. Looks almost identical to the 2015. Just got a little bit darker internal pieces on the bezel and the upper turn signal and let's see this reads 4.1, really 4.1. Last test, let's do this one. And I'm gonna keep the camera rolling just so that we see exactly what it is that I do. Unplug that light just so that there's no extra output bleeding into the sensor. I'm gonna move this thing right there, exactly the same as it was there, right on top of the same spot. I'm kind of keeping it right over the middle part. Ooh, damn. Uh, yeah, that's a little bit brighter, guys. So that is those carbon fiber headlights. And we've got 47.3. Hmm, so looks like we had 1.8, 4.7 or something. That was like 4.1, 4.0. And then this is reading 47.6. So we are talking more than 10 times the rating. So I don't know if I'm gonna have the opportunity to do another test like that anytime soon. So I'm super happy that I got to put that new little light to use. I'm gonna link up that light in the description below. It's like 30 something bucks on Amazon. I'm gonna continue to use it in future videos just to test different stuff and just share the results. Earlier when I was messing around with it, I think probably because I was taking readings from one light while the other one was on, I saw higher numbers. It was actually above 50 foot candles on the fly red light before. I don't know, maybe I just don't know what I'm doing. That's probably the case, but anyway, it, it all came out pretty interesting. 10 times the number on the Flyride aftermarket LED board inside of those headlights than the factory. So I don't think it matters if you've got the factory or the depot. I think those both have pretty terrible output for that little lightning bolt. And the numbers don't lie, we just saw them. So let me know what you think about that. So after I filmed and started editing this install video, I literally fell asleep three times because it's just so long. There's so many steps. Apparently the day I filmed, I wasn't super energetic, sorry. But this is what I'm gonna do to keep it a little bit lighter for YouTube. 
I'm gonna post just a little bit in this video. I'm gonna show you the final outcome, the installed shots on the car. Definitely more interesting than the full step-by-step -step process. But you should. I'm gonna host that on my own website so that you can check that out void of all the distractions of YouTube. So if you really do need to know how to do this exact install, like to the T, step by step, I'm gonna make that link available to you as well. So for right now, I just wanna show off how badass this part is. Excited, let's go. Oh, you want to fly. Also, starting with this inside corner. All you need is my pain. Nothing in between. <laughs> There it is, switch back, lightning bolt. It was plug and play, super simple install. I couldn't be happier. So the point is that even if you take your factory lightning bolts on a 2015 up to 17 GTR and you compare them with the aftermarket lights, they suck. The output from factory sucks. The output from aftermarket sucks. Factory and aftermarket bolts suck. It's because it's just got two tiny little LEDs in there. I mean, it's, it's only gonna work so well. When I originally started learning about this stuff, it happened because I burned out one of those LEDs back in 2014. I was getting ready for SEMA, and all of a sudden, I accidentally connected something to straight power and ground that was supposed to go through a little driver. I mean, nerd talk, that basically means I fried the crap out of that LED. It went poof, it made a little smoke cloud inside the headlight, and I was in trouble. I reached out to another company. They made me some really, really bright aftermarket lights for those, those two little spots. And what ended up happening was they would get too hot and they'd fail. And I tried to do a different approach. I finally found an LED strip I could just run all the way through there. There was a universal part and it was a little bit too short. So I would put a, another little section of LED on there. And I did a couple cars that way and felt good about it. Then they discontinued that part and they put out a different version. So I had to just continually adjust as time went on because there was nothing that was vehicle specific made for it. After years and years of doing the sequential stuff and just learning and failing and learning and failing, I had another company make a part. I had some issues with that. I finally had another company make the part. And now, <laughs> that's the, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Now I have such a cool part. So I'm so pumped from the guys at Morimoto that built and designed all the crazy little circuitry inside of this lightning bolt. Amazing little LED chips that do white and amber. Just the whole thing is great. It's strong. I can pack a bunch of stuff on top of it with no issues, which means I can do extra cool functions like color changing and I don't know, just all of the things that I've ever wanted to do for the GTR lights, I can now do quicker and I can do it easier and you can do it as well. So I really want this to be something that as a community, everybody that works on lights has access to. I'm gonna share the, the files for the animations. I just, I want it to be very community driven. So the only reason that that's gonna fail is because nobody actually wants these things. So you GTR guys, tell me, do you like this? Do you want your lightning bolts to be literally 10 times brighter? I mean, I'm just trying to put it all out there and <laughs> make this simple for you. It is super cool, you need it. I want you to have it. We're gonna make this thing worldwide. I'm looking for shops everywhere. So if you're a shop and you're in Australia or Germany or Switzerland or I don't know, wherever, or Mexico, hit me up, I don't care. I want different people to have access to this. Let's just keep going on this GTR series and I will continue to bring you all the little tips and tricks that I know and hopefully we can finish this thing up and get back into some other non-GTR content soon. All right guys, thanks. Thank you.